hello and welcome to yet another video today i'm going to go through something really simple i'm going to set up my rgb for my brand new gigabyte gaming oc 3060 ti and it's going to be something small you can call it a small tutorial for the rgb fusion what you do you're going to go through the same same old steps open up your chrome or whatever browser you're using then just go into your tab or above and just type in rgb fusion that's if you've not downloaded this software before and it's your first time setting up a gigabyte motherboard or a gigabyte gpu and you want to play around with the rgb so you come down you type in then to bring gigabyte rgb fusion 2.0 that's their latest one you open it up once you do it will bring this nice page setup to show you just briefly what it can do it handles motherboards ram uh cases uh, power supplies and everything concerning gigabytes that supports rgb so after doing that just come down click download once you click download it should bring the option down here as for the software size so the size is around 118 mbs as you see here that's how big it is but i'm not going to download that because i already have mine set up so you close that and you open up my rgb so this is after you're done installing the software so we go down to rgb fusion open it it's better to run it as always as you always run it as a, an admin for the first setup uh so right now when you once you open your rgb fusion software it will bring an interface like this currently i have a gigabyte card connected onto my motherboard so it will only show me that my motherboard is an msi so it won't appear here but if you have uh, any other gigabyte device related it will sync with the software perfectly so right now this is my gigabyte card the 3060 ti gaming oc so the settings are really very simple right now right now it's currently off as you can see but let's start with um static once you click static an image of the card will appear here so whatever color you see reflecting on this image reflects directly to the card so even though you're not looking at your machine and you're doing settings from here you can still know what you're you're up to so now static is of course static your color remains the same when you come to intelligent intelligent it's basically money a monitoring item as you can see down here it monitors gpu temperature as the temperature rises these colors will also change gpu usage the usage rises the colors can change and also the gpu fan speeds currently applies only to the card which is uh, not bad so now from static now we come to things like pulse pulse you can see the setting right there it's currently slow but once i speed up this you can speed it and apply it and even though you don't apply it it will just show you a rough copy of how it could come out so if i reduce it right now it will get slower if i increase it right now it will get faster the colors it's up to you choose whatever color you're into there's flash flash just keep on flashing depending on the speed setting and the brightness that you you, you set according uh, to your to your machine so as you go down now to double flash double flash it's as you can see the same thing it's always the same these are color settings right here if you don't want to go into selecting you just enter the colors that you're into and looking for then there's color cycle that's all the rainbow that you would want to get right now it is slow but i can make it faster apply it and my colors will keep changing accordingly then there's color shift another nice one not bad it will keep on shifting continuously continue you can customize the colors you want or you can just do a default customizing just come select 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 according to what you're into and they keep on shifting then there's gradient gradient is really nice among my best the colors if you customize the colors keep on shifting accordingly to what you're into but i'm gonna leave it on default i love the default setting apply it and increase the speed a bit and yeah there we go and there's wave wave 
just the way you see it just keeps on passing through depending on what you're into apply and the colors will keep on changing accordingly i'm gonna leave mine on gradient and enjoy that this is a profile you can make a profile for whatever setting that you want you just keep on adding and adding and adding according to whatever right now i'm using pro private one which is still good for me so apart from that i don't see the anything these are importing settings just in case you have your own personal settings from your previous machine and you're upgrading you can just tap on this and grab the settings from wherever you they are located whether on the desktop or anywhere else on to settings settings it's basically a password let's in sleep hibernation soft status or you can say rise run on on next reboot or update schedule so the software is that's how it is it is really not that big unless you have a motherboard attached the fusion software really grows big according to what you have attached to, to it i have an msi motherboard and apparently it's not gigabyte of course and it will not be picked up by the rgb fusion software so if you're interested in seeing an unboxing of my 3060 ti i'm going to link a video up there thank you for the subs and thank you for the likes hope to see you guys in another video